All right, we'll get started. Um, this is the, the second uh, in the series of our training sessions, uh, Victory 201. Uh, it's a little bit more advanced. Uh, we assume you attended one of our uh, 101 training sessions uh, last week or the week before we did two sessions in different time zones. Um, and uh, so today is, is more advanced functionality and we'll drill into uh, things that we discussed uh, a little bit more uh, last time. So I'm going to share my screen here. The, the schedule is about 30 minutes. It might go on like it did uh, last time for an extra 10 minutes uh, as uh, questions uh, come up and, and so on. So I encourage everybody to uh, type in their questions in the Q&A tab and, and I'll get to it towards the, towards the end here. So I am now sharing my screen and uh, you should be able to see victory. And uh, as I mentioned, the agenda today is to go over a little bit more advanced functionality, both in both the use cases in the uh, script to video use case, as well as in the uh, video editing use case. So we worked in the script to video use case. Last time we started with a script and, uh, and I'm gonna do that one more time and just, uh, uh, to remind people kind of reset expectations here. So you can just uh, copy and paste the script here. I just did uh, control C, control V and pasted it here. And, uh, uh, and I am now um, going in there, choosing a specific uh, size. I can change this later as well, the size. Um, and uh, so now we're going into it's searching, our AI is searching for the best matching visual and is trying to find the, the best visual. And, uh, and so, so last time we covered most of the basic functions, adjusting the text, adjusting the fonts uh, and brand settings and so on. So today I wanna to talk a little bit more about uh, a few different things. Um, so you see here, uh, we have uh, the scene duration thing. And I wanted to talk a little bit about this. So, by default, every scene gets a duration uh, that depending on the amount of text that is on the screen. So you can see that the scenes with more text get, get longer duration than scenes with uh, less text. So uh, it is not dependent on, this, on the length of the background visual, it's just dependent on the text. So you can then choose, you can say, hey, I want this to, uh, to be a shorter duration scene. So, so we have this very quick way to determine the, to, to change the scene duration setting. You can increase or decrease the scene duration. Now, this video so far doesn't have any voiceover. Usually what happens is when you apply a voiceover, then the voiceover actually determines the scene, scene, scene duration settings. So, so again, because because the voiceover will will apply for will will read narrate it for a certain length. That narration determines how long um, the scene is going to be. Now, with with some of the newer releases, we actually allow you to even uh, change the change the scene duration even when voiceover is applied. So, so it just inserts extra pauses. So if you insert a voice, now there's voiceover here with, uh, with this Matthew's voice, uh, we'll read it, but it will just insert some, some extra like one second pause uh, between the scene when you, when you change the scene duration and you have a voiceover uh, applied as well. So, so that's, that's a quick note on, on, on scene duration and, and how you can do some of these things. Um, the other thing I wanted to uh, share with you is um, there is uh, there is all the scene setting options. So we didn't talk about it last time, but uh, let's walk through some of these scene setting options. So one one option is this idea of looping video. So sometimes when your scene duration is long, but your B roll here that it chooses does is not long enough, uh, then by default it's set up to loop through the video. So the video gets restarted in the very beginning. So you can choose to not loop a video for a specific scene, um, or you can say, hey, uh, apply this setting to all the scenes, this unloop setting, apply it to all the scenes. So, 
So this is how most of these settings will work uh, either on a theme basis, or you can say apply it to all the themes. So here's another option that by default, the text is always displayed, but sometimes you may not want the text to be displayed in certain scenes, so you can turn it off for certain scenes, or you can turn it on off for all scenes. You can say, okay, this text is now not displayed in any of the scenes. So, so depending on the kinds of videos you're making, whether you want to emphasize and show the subtitles or not, um, you can you can do that. Um, I will also show you an option uh, later where you can actually download the subtitle file, even with these videos. So uh, YouTube and other uh, platforms will let you upload SRT files along with the video. So you can download the SRT file from here and then upload that. So if you don't wanna use the standard text font that we have uh, and the formats that we have, and you wanna use the, um, the way Google shows uh, the subtitles, you can, you can do that as well using the SRT file. So we'll go back to turning on the text here. Uh, the, other, the other thing, and this applies more to when you have uh, uploaded visuals. So if you have your own uploaded images that you wanna use, um, Sometimes if the image doesn't fit the screen, like in this case, this doesn't fit the screen. So it adds these black bars to the top. So you can say, I don't want the black bar. Uh, I want to instead zoom and pan to this image. So you can, you can apply that. So especially this applies to uh, images that come from blogs or images that you upload. Uh, you, can, you can do this visual uh, zoom and pan by default. Images that you upload, it will always try to fit that in the frame. So it doesn't do the zooming and panning by default. So I can undo that. So by the way, this is another feature very useful that I want to show you. So you can undo up to up to several uh, changes. In this case, it, yeah, I, I went back all the way to the to the original video that I have. Um, the other the other setting here is. Um, and for a specific scene, you can say, I want the background music or the voiceover to be off or on. So again, you can control it at a scene level. You can say for this one, I don't want any background music. I just want the voiceover narration to show. Uh, and, or for this scene, I don't want any background music, but I want the I want background music, but I don't want voiceover. So you can you can choose that in the in these scene settings. So so that was one other thing I wanted to I wanted to share here. Uh, one other setting that is uh, that is important that we get a lot of questions about is trimming the video. So the B-roll video that shows up, maybe you don't want it to be uh, from the very beginning to the very end. So this is a 23-second video, even though you see it's a 12-second scene. Uh, so you say, hey, maybe I want um, only part of the video is showing up. So you can see what it's is doing and you say, uh, maybe that's enough. I wanna cut this off in the first 12 seconds. So I can say, select only the first 12 seconds. And so I can trim the video to just the first 12 seconds. Okay. So it, it's pretty easy. You don't have to say, I mean, it, it automatically saves. You can, you can trim to any part of the video. You can choose the starting point or the, or the end point and uh, and then if, if you choose a very small segment, then if the loop option is set up, then it will loop through that, uh, through that segment as well. So, so that's the other uh, setting I wanted to share. And um, here's, here's one other thing that is very useful as you're making videos uh, that we didn't talk about in the last session. And it's the ability to add or remove themes. So we have this options, if you see the little plus uh, on, on each side of the scene. So for any scene, you can say we're, we're on this uh, scene three now, and I wanna add a new scene before scene, between scene two and scene three. So on scene three, I just go here and I say, and it says, what kind of scene do you wanna add? So I say, uh, let's, let's start with the just one text. So I want blank, but I want, uh, so, and then I say, this is my text 
that text. And, uh, and it, it creates a blank scene. And, and this is something we didn't cover last time, but we have all these options for textures and blank and solid colors. So by default, it picks up something with a uh, with a solid color. You can you can change it into any color. You can change it into a, a texture, and uh, and you can create a scene here. Uh, you can also change. You can you can uh, create. A, you can add a B-roll here as well, and uh, and have that. So now I've added a scene to my video, which wasn't in the original, um, in my original script. So so that's the idea of of uh, adding scenes you can add it to either side and if you add if you choose text and visuals then it's gonna it's gonna based on the text that you enter it will search for a visual just like when you uh, when you start from the script so so that's that i'm gonna uh, delete this also so you can also delete scenes so so this scene two and scene three was my text test scene so i can just delete this um, visual here um, one other button here that I wanted to share is this uh, idea of preview. So there is a preview that you can preview the entire video by clicking this button on the top, the preview. But if you want to just preview a single scene, you can just click on preview here, and it will preview that scene alone. Uh, and if there's any voiceover, it'll generate the voiceover for that scene, and it'll play that. Um, so, so that's uh, that's the second uh, that's the second that's the last button here that, that I wanted to share, and then we'll talk about the the voiceover uh, later when we come here. Um, now, the next thing I wanted to talk to was the idea of uh, linking scenes and uh, and splitting scenes. So, uh, this is uh, this is a feature that we recently introduced, uh, and you to to use that you go on into the story section. And when you go into the story section, you can browse the scenes through here. Um, and, uh, and you see this little link button comes up as you're browsing the scenes. And um, the point of this link is, so say you like this video, and then you don't want to change this visual as it moves to the next sentence. You want to keep the same visual. So if you want to keep the same visual, you can link these scenes together. So I can just simply click on this link scene button and it will link these scenes together. So now the first scene will show this, the second scene will show this, and the third scene will also show the same video. It'll continue the video. Uh, it'll show new text, or in this case, the text was uh, was hidden. Uh, so we can unhide it and, uh, and it, will, it will, but the visual, the video that's in the scene two will continue to play and play through scene three. So you can do that. You can continue to scene four as well. So sometimes, if, especially if you have a longer video, maybe you've uploaded a video of your own that you wanna you want it to play through multiple scenes. You can use this link scene functionality. Um, you can also unlink any scenes that you've linked. You say I, I unlink it by just clicking it again, or you can of course undo it uh, by clicking the undo button. Um, so. Now that we have, we've talked about link scene, but there's also this idea of splitting scenes. So um, I'm gonna um, undo this a couple of times here. Um, and uh, so that's the idea of, uh, this went way far on the undo. The idea of splitting scenes is, if you have very long text on one scene, then I can say, hey, I wanna, um, I want to split it into multiple scenes, and the main the main point of splitting is you you want to reduce the amount of text in one screen. So I can come in here and say repurpose existing content, and uh, uh, I can edit it right here, like webinars, and and I say I want to split it at this point. So I I just pick a point, and 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 you see a button here called split scene, and I split that scene. So now it adds another scene here, which 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 is linked to the previous one. So the visual will be the same. The visual uh, B roll will continue, and it will, but it will it will show into two different scenes. It will split the text into two different scenes. So 
So that's another useful function, uh, splitting and, uh, uh, and also linking scenes. Those two are, are very useful as you're creating uh, different kinds of videos. Um, so now moving into something else. So I'm, I'm going through a bunch of different features as we didn't, we didn't get a chance to go through any of this uh, last time where we were mostly talking about uh, text reformatting and, and, uh, and changing the position of text and so on. Um, so now let's talk about this idea of uh, scene transition. So under styles, um, we talked about themes last time. There's different themes available and themes control kind of how the text shows up and uh, the animation of the text as well as the location of the text. Um, but uh, the scene transitions is, is another uh, op op opportunity to make your video more interesting. So you can pick any of these scenes. The default is no scene transition, so it just um, changes the scene um, without any, any special transition. So you can say, hey, instead of no transitions, I want some fade in, fade out effect. So you can choose a fading effect. So that now the fading, uh, now between every scene, it'll fade in, fade out from the previous scene and fade into the next scene. Um, and there's different effects, there's circle effects, uh, uh, blur effect, wipe effect, there's a bunch of different effects. Now, the only thing to remember here is, um, Right now, there's a limitation in the preview that when you preview this video, these uh, uh, these effects don't uh, won't show. So uh, you'll have to uh, you'll have to generate the final video for the for the fading effects for the scene transition effects to to show up. So so that's one um, one limitation, but we're working on fixing this. So you'll have a you'll be able to see that in the preview too. Um, so that's uh, scene transitions. Um, so we talked about th these options. We've talked about scene transitions. We talked about themes. Um, then the other, the last thing that we haven't talked about yet is this formatting option. So uh, you chose the size of the video as you came in. You chose a landscape video, but you can say, hey, uh, you change your mind and now you want to create a square video. So you can change this format options right from here. So. You can choose a square video. Now, the, the issue is though in the square video, not every visual is going to fit in here. So, so like this one, uh, the guy is not, it doesn't fit in this frame. So I can basically drag and drag the frame here. I should be able to drag the frame here. Uh, and it will, it will fit in. I'm, I'm, hang on, I'm just gonna check something. Yeah, so there's something um, in my system that's not letting me do it right now. But uh, I should be able to just drag the part that I want and uh, and and it'll just adjust that part of the frame within the uh, within the selected window. So that's the uh, that's this idea of uh, of of changing the the aspect ratio in real time. Uh, the other thing is, uh, by default, the resolution is set to 720. So you can come in here and say, I want, um, I want my video to be a 1080 resolution video. So that's another uh, thing here that um, we can we can change under the format section. Um, this option, uh, sometimes when you generate the video and try to open it in uh, Adobe Premiere or something, but the default victory videos. Uh, sometimes they have problems uh, opening in other softwares like Adobe Premiere. So you uh, you got to turn this option on and then regenerate the video and then it'll open up in, in those uh, in those scenarios. Um, so so I wanted to go through these options. Uh, now the, the one other thing I wanted to show here is uh, remember I said instead of uh, you you may not you may want an SRT file at the very end. So after the video generation, any video that you have, after any video is completed, um, you have uh, you have an option to export the text. And that export can be an SRT file. So, uh, and, and the SRT file usually, you could also export a VTT file. So depending on the platform, some platforms like VTT files, some platforms like SRT files, 
uh, and you can just simply download it from here. Uh, the, the the video the video display platform. You can also export the text file itself if you want to say um, create a blog from this uh, from the summaries summarized video. Um, so and then you can also see by the way after the generation is completed and you go into my projects, uh, you will see completed videos have this icon here, or you can also see them under here. And, uh, and you can export the text from there as well. So download SRT VTT text file right from here, from this video, uh, from this My Project section of the video. So, so you can download the SRT file, you can, um, uh, and, and you can upload that into, into YouTube. So it displays as YouTube captions um, when, you, when you upload it there. So then I would turn off the captions here and, and then upload that SRT. Okay, so now the next thing I wanted to show you is this voiceover, the voiceover idea. So, so there's two options on voiceover recording. So actually there's three options. One is, of course, you can use the machine voiceover. So you can say, I wanna see what it sounds like. Uh, I, I wanna use one of these machine voiceovers. You can actually uh, check the voiceover by clicking this. Uh, it gives you a sample voice. Um, and, uh, and you can play it. Uh, you can also record your own voice. So you can um, just click on here to record your voice. And, uh, and this recording, you can either do scene by scene. So you can see, I, I can record this scene, the creator economy, and, and then just have that scenes recording available. Uh, and then I can go to the next scene and record it for the next scene uh, and so on. So that's one option, but the other option is I can record it for the entire script. So the way I do it is, um, I, I I would I could bring up the script in a separate window, or I could uh, use this script that is showing up in the storyboard, and I record the voiceover for the entire script in one go, and and I save it. So when you save it, it shows up here under the audio tab. My uploads shows the the, the recorded file here. So you see, I have a couple of different uh, <clears throat> recordings here. These are for individual scenes because uh, they're shorter, five seconds or six seconds recording. And then I have a 51 second recording that is for the entire script. So I wanna say now, and you could also upload it from outside. So if you have uh, say a voice artist who's created some recordings for you, uh, you can bring that here and import it into uh, into recorded audio here, and uh, and then you can say I want to I have the voiceover for the entire script. I want to apply this to the entire video. So this is the auto sync um, option. So if I click here, apply this to the entire video. The first question it asks you is: See that your video has um, an outro or an intro. Does your voiceover has an outro and intro as well? So I say, no, my voiceover doesn't have an outro. Um, so, so now it's running this algorithm and it's gonna match the voiceover to the words on, on every scene. And it's gonna play that as a preview. This may be some incompatibility. I'm just gonna um, close this and open another window with Victory. Um, this may be an incompatibility with this uh, webinar software, which is not letting me play. But, um, let's let's look at it again. Um, okay, so. After the preview is done, what you get is something like this. It'll help you adjust the, the voiceover. So it automatically has synced the voiceover. And you can see if I if I, yeah, I can play it at a scene by scene level. The creator economy is giving people a chance to specialize in their passions and pursue their dream jobs. So there was a slight, it actually started uh, the next sentence. So I can move this over here and I can say, okay, now I want the second scene to start from In here. In this new creator economy, video plays a critical role. So again, there was slight, slight 
misadjustment that uh, that it has. So I can come in and adjust it as scene by scene level. So it I can it shows me the entire audiogram of the uh, of the waveform. I can look at that, and I can also uh, I can also play it back to make sure that uh, that it's in the right place. So um, so it mostly does a really good job at uh, uh, at finding the right scene boundaries. Uh, and uh, sometimes you'll have to go and adjust it slightly. And uh, and you don't have to listen to it always. You can use this visual cue of the audiogram to adjust the, the scene, your scene boundaries. So, um, so that's uh, that's the one other thing I wanted to share here is, uh, and, and we'll, we'll show you the entire thing one more time. So um, with the way you would do it is you'd come over here uh, under my uploads. You can either upload the voiceover right here or you can record it for the entire script. And, uh, and once you have it, you can say, okay, I want to apply this voiceover to the entire video. And, uh, and I apply it and, and it asked me whether it has the intro and outro. I said, no, it does not. And, uh, and then it's, it does the auto syncing and it takes a few seconds to do that. And once that is done, it's gonna preview the entire video. The creator economy is giving people a chance to specialize in their passions and pursue their dream job. With the new creator economy, video plays a critical role. We are very excited to bring victory to these creative entrepreneurs, and we are very so if I If I want to adjust it, I can go back and, and adjust the scenes like I, I showed before. So the, it gives you an option right there. You can either say it looks good or adjust, and uh, and and you can do that. So that's the voiceover sync feature that I wanted to show. Uh, and uh, and so we're uh, getting to uh, close to the, uh, the bottom of the hour here. Um, but I did wanna show a couple of uh, important things in this edit videos uh, using voice function. And, uh, and, and I wanted to uh, bring that. So we, last time we showed, uh, we showed a webinar and, and we, we showed that how you can process the webinar, you can delete sections from it, you can remove uh, filler words and so on from the from the webinar. So this time I wanted to show how you might you might create some highlights uh, from the webinar. So so this was my original webinar. I said uh, there's this sections uh, here that I wanna uh, I wanna just delete from here. Um, and, uh, and so I deleted sections from the video. I deleted filler words. I can delete these uh, silences. I can say delete all silences um, greater than uh, one second. I can do search and replace. I can say wherever you said uh, victory, because I know uh, victory is not recognized uh, by, uh, by our text-to-speech. So I can re replace victory with victory. And, and I can replace eight occurrences of that. So this is just text editing. I basically, it'll, it'll just apply to the, uh, to the text that is shown. Uh, the deletions that I do usually end up deleting the entire word as well. So, so sometimes uh, if you just wanna edit the text, you can, you can simply come in, in here and, and, and make changes to the, to the words here. And, uh, uh, Say this is a. Uh, I want to. I, I don't want to delete uh, this word, but I. What if I want to uh, merge these two words? So I can merge these two words. If I sometimes if I delete it, it's going to delete it from the video. But I, I instead want to just edit the spelling of it. Of it. So I can just come in there and uh, and come in and edit to sell. And and so that that merging and splitting is 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 important to to do sometimes uh, at the word level. The merging and splitting is more important at the sentence level. So I'll show you that. So so now I have a, a briefly edited uh, webinar and I want to create some highlights from it. So I say, hey, this is uh, this is an interesting section. Uh, it's a noisy world, and and I say, okay, I want I want to create a highlight from this. So I just add this to the highlights. So there's a button here to add that to the highlight. And uh, and I do that. 
and I want to come in here and say, uh, this is this is another interesting section, but these two sentences actually go together. So by default, when I select these two sentences and they're separate, it'll create two separate highlights from it. So I want to merge them together into one sentence. And now, now it will show me, it shows me that I have only two highlights. Uh, if I go under highlights, it says, this is one highlight video and this will be the second highlight video. So, so the, the point of the highlights is that from one long video, from one recorded webinar, you can create many short clips that you can then use uh, to create uh, to, to, for, for social media. So, so I, I'm creating like a bunch of different ones. I'd say somewhere I talked about 85% the staff. Uh, I wanna use that and I wanna create a highlight from that. So, so I've now created basically four highlights, uh, which, which will use the same visual that I had in my webinar, but it's gonna be clips from my webinar that I've selected based on the uh, based on the text alone. Um, so, so that's uh, once once I've selected multiple sections in there, then I can go in here, and I can say, I want to download four different video clips, each representing this section. And all I have to do is just click this checkbox here, and download video clips. So now it's generating four individual highlight clips. Each one is going to be about 20 to 30 seconds long. And each one will be a, basically a segment from my, from my webinar. So, so you saw why the merging might be important there, because otherwise, if you didn't merge the sections, then, then, uh, then it'll be, it might be just two small clips or something. And, uh, or sometimes you say, hey, this, this was too long. I want to split it. So I can split it, and now it's going to create two segments uh, from this one uh, from this one video. So so that's that's one other uh, thing I wanted to show here. Uh, and uh, the one last thing I wanted to show here is when you start with a webinar across the thing, and uh, or any video, any recorded video, um, you can replace your your uh, recorded video uh, with a so, so you're talking, you want to replace it with a with a B-roll, a visual that's in our library. How would you do that? So, so what you do here is you can go into this section of customized highlighted videos. And uh, and what, what that is doing is basically it's uh, bringing you to the storyboard section. Um, and so the entire, the four highlights that we picked out, you're going to see them as, as parts of the storyboard. And you'll see four scenes in the storyboard. So you can see, or actually you'll see many scenes, many linked scenes. So you see basically this is one scene um, where he, he keeps talking about no, noisy world, 80%. And uh, and that's the next scene. Now I say, hey, when, when he's talking about inbound traffic, maybe I don't want to show his face, but I want to use a visual uh, showing traffic. So I can come in and replace that with a traffic visual. It doesn't make sense in this case, but I, I can if I wanted to do it uh, and, and I can. Uh, so it makes, these B-rolls can make your recorded videos interesting. Like, like you know, uh, the same visual will be replaced in, in the entire, for, for the entire linked scene. So this links, these are like four in the four scenes linked together. Basically, it's one highlight sentence, unless you've got a really established business. So since they're all linked together, they will all have that same uh, video of that traffic highlight. And, uh, and I can uh, I can do that. Uh, and then when when it goes back to the to the next uh, sentence, it goes back to him um, talking. So. Even when this is happening, it'll still be him talking, but the visual won't be his PowerPoint slide. It'll be, it'll be this traffic visual. Um, and if I'm, if I, if I think I made a mistake, I can come come back and remove this visual by just clicking on this, and it'll go back to the original, um, the webinar video. 
so so that's the last thing I wanted to show. Um, and um, there's probably a few things that still I've still left out because um, we're out of time here. But I, I do want to take about five, 10 minutes for any questions um, that you might have. Um, and so please feel free to enter these questions in the Q&A section, and I'll try to answer them as much as possible today. Um, so one question uh, is, how can you make changes to the article summary to video script while viewing the original article after the story is created? I tried to, but could not view the original article to add or remove text from the story. Um, okay, so the question is, if you start with the, uh, you start with an article, um, and you go here, it's going to summarize it. And uh, on the left, you will see the original article. And on the right, you will see the, the summary sentences. After the story is created, you won't be able to see the original article because uh, the, the original article is available. I mean, you'll have to go into another browser window, open your original article, and then look at it from here. But at this point, you, you see the original article on the left and the uh, uh, summary on the right. You can choose different sentences. Uh, you can remove that and, and so on. Um, and and But once you go to the next step, you don't see the original article. You'll, you'll only see the summary sentences. So at this point, you'd basically you'd find you would uh, open the original article maybe in a separate link and and do it from there. Um, the next question from Ray is: um, Is there a way to apply scene transition and text animation at the scene level, or can they be only applied to the video? So yeah, the scene transitions and the animations are. Uh, Right now, they're they, it's an all or nothing thing. You apply it to, to the entire video. You can't do it at a specific scene level. And the same thing with the text animation. It's this one for format, one text animation for the entire video. Um, so we're looking at some, some changes to that in the future, but right now, it, it's, uh, it's, it's applied to the whole, the whole video. Thank you, Paige. Um, Paige is saying we love victory. We appreciate it. Thank you. Any other questions? I'm, I, I'll be here for another few minutes. Um, and you can always uh, send questions to our support team, uh, and they're pretty responsive. Uh, support at victory.ai. We also uh, have the community page, so please join that. Uh, on Facebook, and um, and that's uh, um, that's another place to get your questions answered um, through the through our community help. So um, it's the Spictory AI Creators Group. Thank you, Ray. Uh, Ray also loves Pictory with so many options and, and make it special. That's, uh, that's what we're trying to do. And, and the, balance, the balance that we're trying to always find is ease of use versus flexibility. You can make something super flexible, but then it becomes harder to use. Um, another question from Tom is, is there a way to tell Pictory to automatically make every scene a live action story block background video? Uh, yeah, so I think I, I, uh, instead of, uh, yeah, I don't, there isn't an option right now, Tom, to say I want one kind of video in all, in all things. There is, Storyblocks has, uh, like we do have these a, a, a 
idea of uh, categories and, and types, but uh, we don't have it more granular than that, that we you want live action type, type stuff only. Um, so yeah, so not right now. We, right now we don't have that option to say only those kind of videos or only uh, only this category or or only use my uploaded videos and so on. We don't have those options yet. Um, Jeff's question is, do you have any plans to add your own voice as an AI voice choice? Um, that's a really good request. We've been uh, thinking about it. It's it's a hard problem, as you can imagine. Um, you would have to train the AI on your voice, and uh, um, and and we're looking at we're looking at certain softwares which which will help help you do that. And uh, and you'd probably have to train it with like 20, 30 minutes of your own voice at least uh, before it'll let you use your own, your own voice. But um, it's uh, it's not there, but we're we're certainly um, figuring out how how we can do it in the future. Um, the bunker's question is: When converting from text to video, sometimes when we change a scene, it does not regenerate the keywords. Usually, keywords is a problem when there are many, as many are required in a scene. Um, Deepankar, I think your question is like if you change, um, if you change, your question is if you change text in the scene, then the keywords don't change. Is that is that what you're saying? So if I remove source pack from this, it does remove it from this keywords uh, keywords list. It doesn't change the highlighted text. Sometimes when you have to show when when we show. In my case, I'm I'm showing the same color for highlight, uh, for keywords highlight, as, as for the standard keywords. If I change this and say highlight color is black. In this case, I don't have any any highlights, but yeah, you're right. It doesn't it doesn't automatically change the highlighted keywords um, if you change the text. Um, but again, like I mentioned last time, please, uh, if there's feature requests, uh, if you could uh, send that over to, to our roadmap, uh, it's called it's feedback .victory AI, And, uh, um, oops. And there's a, there's a section here, we'll check what happened to our uh, HTTPS thing here. But uh, but please make uh, please make feature requests there, and and we'll add that. Um, very good. I think um, I don't see any more questions coming in, so I'm gonna end the session now. Um, we will have a repeat of this session. I will, we will post a YouTube video of this um, in today or tomorrow. And then uh, there'll be another advanced session that uh, my co-founder Abed will uh, run next week, but it would be at, at a different time zone. Uh, it'll be uh, 9 p.m. Pacific time. But uh, if you have uh, friends or coworkers who want to attend that, uh, please uh, suggest them. Same registration would, would apply to both of those sessions. So thank you. Thanks, everybody, for attending. Thank you for your time and for being a customer of Victory. <laughs>